Best Social Justice Movies and Documentaries Social causes are at the forefront of the American consciousness. Just look at the Me Too, Time's Up, March for Our Lives, and Black Lives Matters movements that have sprung up. There have always been social issues that need our urgent attention, but only recently have many societal ills become seemingly omnipresent. While it may seem bleak to constantly hear about problems within society, it's also a chance to become more aware of your world and how you can help make it better. As social causes have become more prominent, the entertainment industry has taken notice and has taken actions to become more progressive. It's amazing to see companies like Warner Brothers give away free rentals of Just Mercy, the 2019 feature film starring Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx, based on the true story of Walter McMillan, who sat wrongfully convicted on death row for the month of June in the effort to help those in need of learning more about the systemic racism that plagues our society. That leads Paramount to do the same thing with Ava DuVernay's 2014 feature film Selma, offering it up for free rental for the month of June. As much progress as the entertainment industry has made in the last couple of decades, though, there's still a lot of work to do, especially when it comes to inclusion. As long as there have been smart, empathetic filmmakers, there have been great social justice movies. They aren't all completely serious. Many have found lighter, sometimes even comical ways to address serious issues. Some have won Oscars, some were unfairly ignored. Most are fascinating and necessary looks at the myriad problems within our society. Knowledge is power, and these movies have plenty of it. Here are the best social justice movies. Just Mercy 2019 Directed by Destin Daniel Cretton, starring Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Foxx, Brie Larson, Rob Morgan, Tim Blake Nelson, and Rafe Spall. The film, based on the true story of Walter McMillan, follows one man's wrongful murder conviction and the process it takes to get us free. Featuring a powerful performance by Jamie Foxx as McMillan, for which he received a Screen Actors Guild Award nomination for outstanding performance by a male actor in a supporting role, and Jordan's strong term as Brian Stevenson, the DA who sought to appeal McMillan's conviction, there are many who have been wrongly convicted of crimes and are sitting in prison right now. It's important to educate oneself regarding the harrowing process it's to get people who are innocent out from the belly of the beast. I Am Not Your Negro, 2017, director Raoul Peck, starring Samuel L. Jackson. Based on the unfinished 30-page manuscript of what would have been James Baldwin's next project, Remember This House, the Oscar-nominated I Am Not Your Negro is an impactful documentary from Raoul Peck that ties in Baldwin's ruminations on the lives and murders of Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, and Martin Luther King, to what's going on in America today. While Jackson isn't seen in the film and is technically listed as a narrator, his readings of Baldwin's words were just as important as the visual surrounding them, with Jackson doing some amazing voice work, nailing Baldwin's inflections while reading Baldwin's words. In a 2016 interview, Peck told Complex, The voice, I knew that was the only way to tell that story. The question toward the end was, how do I get someone with a tremendous capacity for acting and also some street credibility as a person? No matter what people say about Samuel L. Jackson, you might not like every film he's made, he made sense to me. For those of you looking to see how the systemic racism embedded in America's soil has been passed down, a documentary like I Am Not Your Negro holds all the keys. If Beale Street Could Talk, 2018 Directed by Barry Jenkins, starring Kiki Lane, Stephen James, Coleman Domingo, Tiana Paris, Michael Beach, Dave Franco, Diego Luna, Pedro Pascal, Ed Skrine, Brian Tyree Henry, and Regina King. How do you follow up a historic Oscar win? By adapting James Baldwin's 1974 novel, If Beale Street Could Talk, for the big screen. Featuring commanding performance from Kiki Lane, Stephen James, Homecoming 21 Bridges, Regina King in a performance which netted her Oscar and Golden Globe Award wins, and others in a story set in the mid-1970s, but could have taken place any time before then, or now. A black man gets accused of a crime and placed in prison at the point where his life was about to take a shift for the better. 
With no money for his love or legal fees, we follow his lover, Lane, and his mother, King, on their paths trying to make sense of what life has turned into for both of them. Shot beautifully, acted superbly, and extremely reflective of what life ends up giving for many black men and women in the system, If Beale Street Could Talk gives us some of the highest highs and lowest lows of black life. Let It Fall, Los Angeles, 1982-1992, released in 2017, directed by John Ridley. The brutal beating that Rodney King suffered at the hands of the Los Angeles Police Department that sparked the ignited the city of Los Angeles erupting in the 1992 LA riots. The seeds of that moment had long been sown, and John Ridley's documentary looks at the history of the black and brown people living in Los Angeles and their issues with the LAPD culminating in this explosion of rage, fury, and anger, with many first-hand accounts of the situations that led to the riots, as well as a heavy dose of archival footage, this is the perfect film to deliver you the true story of the LA riots. Support the Girls, 2018 Director Andrew Pajowski Starring Regina Hall, Shayna McHale, and Haley Lou Richardson a workplace comedy about women employed by a Hooters-esque restaurant may not sound like a social justice film, but trust us, Support the Girls is just that. Lisa, played by Regina Hall, is an optimistic general manager at a sports bar who has her optimism challenged by an increasingly long and hard day at work. While Support the Girl is often funny, it's also a bracing look at what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck, as well as exist in a racist and misogynistic society. The workers are constantly sexually harassed, and the company that owns the bar does the bare minimum with regards to diversity and racial sensitivity. The movie is impressively subtle in its social commentary, and ultimately concludes that while these women may go through all of this trouble, they're all right as long as they support each other. Just don't take our word for it. It was one of Barack Obama's favorite movies of 2018. Black Klansman, 2018 directed by Spike Lee, starring John David Washington, Adam Driver, and Laura Harrier. Black Klansman is Spike Lee's latest film and is as unapologetically political as Lee has always been. Black Klansman tells the story of Ron Stallworth, John David Washington, the first black detective to serve in the Colorado Springs Police Department, as he plots to infiltrate and expose the Ku Klux Klan with the help of colleague Flip Zimmerman, played by Adam Driver, in the early 1970s. Heavy-handed references that liken Trump to the KKK aside, Black Klansman is also a sober look at the power of activism in the past and present. Stallworth's belief that he can best help a racist society by leaning into the racist police force and making it more progressive is contrasted with love interest Patrice's, Laura Harrier, more radical beliefs that the police are an inherently racist institution. Throughout the film, Lee never argues explicitly whether Stallworth or Patrice has the correct theory. Instead, the unforgettable, almost surreal ending portrays them as like-minded forces of good fighting together against the creepy horrors of racism. Black Klansman effortlessly draws a chillingly direct line between the political climate then and now. The Hate You Give, 2018 Directed by George Tillman Jr., starring Amanda Stenberg, Regina Hall, and Russell Hornsby. Based on the best-selling novel by Angie Thomas, The Hate You Give follows star Amanda Stenberg, a black teenager stuck between two worlds, the poor, mostly black neighborhood she lives in and the rich, mostly white prep school she attends. When she witnesses the fatal shooting of her childhood best friend by a police officer, she finds these worlds clashing as she tries to stand up for what's right. One of 2018's underrated gems, The Hate You Give manages to seamlessly blend social justice and well-written teenage drama. Not many movies can both appeal to teenagers and introduce them to important political issues such as police brutality and private prisons, but The Hate You Give does so successfully. <laughs>